let fx equals xn. From the definition of the derivative, we get 1. By plugging in x plus h and x2, xn, we get 2. Expanding x plus h to the power n using in binomial theorem gives 3. By simplifying coefficients in 3, we get 4. Subtracting, xn, from 4 gives 5. Pulling out a common factor h gets us 6. Plugging expression from 6 for x plus h minus n in 2 to get 7. Canceling out h gives 8. x and n are not affected by h going to 0, but terms with h go to 0. Therefore taking the limit, we get n times x to the power n minus 1.